Dear students, again I am M. Yusuf, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, Magistrate College, and I taught you in my previous lecture what is amine preparation of general preparation of amine classification of different amines. Today I am going to discuss about the nomenclature of amines. I mean naming process of amines. This is IUPAC method. For one degree amine, you know that if one hydrogen atom of ammonia is replaced by alkyl group, then it is known as one degree amine. For one degree amine, uh, the naming process will go, I am going to discuss. One, two, three, as the position of amino group, you know that NH2 means amino group. This is the functional group of amine. Amino, the position of amino group is at the first carbon. That is why this is one amino propane. You know that um, during the numbering of carbon atoms, I have to prefer the position of functional group and I have to start the numbering from the nearest side of the functional group. That's why the name of this compound is one amino propane. And if I, if I start the naming if i start the numbering uh, from the left side from the left side the position of amino group will be one two three four four uh, but if i start the numbering from the right side and the position of amino group will be at the two non-carbon atoms that's why two non-carbon atoms will get prepared i should uh, give prepare uh, two non-carbon atom that's why the name of uh, this compound will be 2 amino 3 methyl pentane as the total number of carbon atoms are the main chain is are uh, 5 that's why it will be pentane and amino and methyl group uh, according to the alphabetical order amino A uh, A is, uh, A is faster than methyl I mean M that's why I have to write amino group first position initially i have to write amino group that's why it is 2 amino 3 methyl pentane again for 2 degree and 3 degree amine and 2 degree if you observe uh, this compound the formula of this compound we'll see that in this case uh, two hydrogen atoms of ammonia are replaced by methyl group and another is methyl ethyl propane butyl another is butyl group so what will be the name of this compound? I have to start the numbering from the left side because from the left side the position of amino group is at the first carbon. One and this is actually amino but in this case uh, one methyl group is linked with nitrogen of amino group. So I have to write this part methyl group I mean this linked with nitrogen atom uh, within bracket and those two bracket actually is bonded with the first carbon that's why i have to write here one n methyl i mean methyl group is linked with nitrogen that's why i've written here n n methyl and due to the nh amino nh2 actually here nh2 one hydrogen atom is nh one hydrogen atom is replaced by methyl group that's why it will be amino and the total number of carbon atoms and the main chain is 4 that's why it is butane you know that due to the 4 carbon atom it is but and due to the single bond it is N so the name of this compound will be 1 I mean 1 position in that the 1 position amino group 1 N methyl I mean methyl group is linked to it nitrogen that's why I have written here N methyl amino due to the four carbon atoms this is but and due to the carbon carbon single bond this is n so the resulting name of this compound is one hyphen and methyl amino but n and again if you consider the another compound here uh, here in the amino group two methyl groups are linked to the nitrogen atom of amino group and this amino group is actually bonded with the two non-carbon atoms one two three four five 
so it will be 2 n n dimethyl as there are two methyl groups that's it will that's why it will be dimethyl and there are four carbon atoms are the main five carbon atoms are the main chain that's why it will be pent and due to the carbon carbon single bond this is n so the name, the resulting name of this compound is 2 n n di methyl pen tens due to the single bond this is n that's all about the naming method of two degree and three degree amine and in case of amino group and another functional group if you consider this compound here there are two functional groups one is amino group and another is uh, a carboxylic group and you know that in the order of priority of functional group the position of carboxylic group is at the topmost position that's why i have to give the prepared I have to prepare C double H group and C double H group will get, uh, will get prepared. Uh, so I have to start the numbering from the right side to give the lower number of C double H group. So the name of this compound uh, 3 amino as the amino group is third position 3 amino but anoic acid. 3 amino but but means there are 4 carbon atoms are the main chain. And due to the C double H group, it will be noic acid. So the resulting name of this compound is 3 amino butanoic acid. And again, if you consider this compound, uh, this is alcoholic group and ammonic amino group. And you know that in the reactivity of functional group, the position of alcohol is um, above uh, of amino group. So I have to start the numbering. Uh, the alcohol group will get prepper. I have to give prepper the alcoholic group. So, uh, to have the two position, two position, uh, there is an amino group. So, I have written here amino, but in the amino group, there are two methyl groups, and two methyl groups are linked by nitrogen. So, I have to write here N and dimethyl. Di means two, methyl means CH3. And this N and dimethyl are bonded with, is bonded with two non-carbon atoms. That's why I have written here two, two bracket N and dimethyl amino. And the um, alcoholic OH is bonded to the first carbon. So I have to write here one butanol. You know that but means four carbon atoms and nol means alcoholic group OH. So the resulting name of this compound is two and and di methyl amino and uh, one but there are four carbon atoms that is why but and due to the OH group this is not so the resulting name of this compound is two bracket n and dimethyl amino bracket hyphen one hyphen butanol you all of you know that if you write any Mathematical digit you have to uh, you have to uh, give hy hyphen in between the word and mathematical digit. Again, this is two amino propanoic acid. You know that uh, the two non position there is an amino group. That's why this is two amino and propanoic acid because there are uh, because there are three carbon atoms at the main chain. That's why it is probe and due to the C double H group, this is noic acid. So the resulting name of this compound is 2 amino propanoic acid. And for ar aromatic amine, uh, this is phenyl amine or aniline, and there are there are two uh, phenyl groups. So the, the, it is diphenyl and diphenyl amine, and this is triphenyl amine because there are uh, three phenyl groups all of you know that if one hydrogen atom is reduced from benzene ring then it is known as phenyl group and then n methyl aniline this is actually two degree amine because two hydrogen atoms are replaced two hydrogen atoms of ammonia are replaced by uh, methyl group and uh, phenyl group respectively that's why this is two degree amine and in this amine uh, methyl group is linked by linked to uh, by 
nitrogen with benzene ring so this is n methyl aniline actually the main actually the main compound was aniline one hydrogen is replaced by methyl group that's why i have to write here n methyl and the um, major uh, compound is actually aniline so i've written here n methyl aniline aniline and here uh, two methyl groups are linked are bonded with nitrogen atom that's why this is n and dimethyl due to the two methyl groups it is di and due to the ch3 this is methyl and the um, main compound was actually aniline actually from this aniline two hydrogen atoms are replaced by two methyl group that's why i have written here aniline and here uh, this is also the main compound is aniline but one hydrogen atom uh, of aniline uh, one hydrogen atom of third carbon of aniline is replaced by methoxy group that's why it is written three methoxy aniline actually the main compound is aniline that's why i've written here aniline that's all about the nomenclature of amines my dear students in my next lecture i will discuss about the chemical properties of amine no more today and goodbye